Well, while Hugh's just rolling a cigarette, this seems like a good time to give a content warning for uh, this particular project. There may be some effing and jeffing, some uh, coarse language that the young ones might not want to hear. <laughs> Turn of the uh, dressing gown dons. <laughs> Me, Hudson. We can't use this. This is unusable. <laughs> this is fucking trash. <laughs> We've done a week and we just got fucking, fucking scratch. Sloppy. Alright. Theo, episode eight. How was it? Eighth um, watch, eighth episode. You were a little tired this morning, man. And this afternoon. <laughs> Mainly this afternoon. I was not looking forward to the watch today, but as soon as it came on, it was just like old friends, ain't they? The old friends never taste this good. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to enjoy it, though. It picked up a bit. Yeah, yeah. I when can't... I first saw you this afternoon, if you don't mind me telling the listeners, the, the, the loyal list. the loyal handful, <laughs> um, I was like, oh man, this guy does not want to watch Grind for the eighth time in a row. I was not ready for it. You said it perked up through, yeah, like, yeah. halfway through. No, I think... First time we've watched it in two parts today, actually, just mm. because it made sense. We were both ready to go, then we had to take care of some shit, and we watched it in the second, Have a little, second uh, half of it. A little snack break, belly full of fried chicken. <laughs> but it was good, it was good. I think, oh, what I say to you? My f- favourite part of the film from episode one, favourite in inverted commas, was the talk that Matt has with his parents when mm. we go to Clown College. Mm. And that is swiftly dropped to my least favourite part of the film. It's Every time it comes on, it's lost its initial kind of, oh yeah, it's a bit wacky. Like, it's uh, an annoying the, scene. The irony of the scene. The clowns having a serious conversation. And now it's just like, oh, fucking shut the fuck up. It's an annoying scene, man. It's just, that's what makes the whole endeavour about ten minutes too long, I think. But yeah, we've spoken about the clown scene before. No, I just wanted to say it's starting to, it's starting to grind on me. Yeah. We've um, <laughs> said that so many times. <laughs> like, we can't give a fucking rim shot every time <laughs> someone yeah, says hey, it grinds nice us. Pun, nice pun, Theo, man. Good work. If you're not that tight, then. Um, <laughs> Mike, drop him out. The rest, the rest is all hustle. Drop the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> there was a couple of funny lines. Again, we're a bunch of fools watching this film and only just getting these lines. The bit where the guy falls off the quad, and what does Matt say? He's not going to be playing piano for a while, man. <laughs> <laughs> which tickled then, us today they, they rock up in Santa Monica mm. and they uh, they see the Wiggers mm. have a little exchange and, yeah, have a little bump, exchange bump into each other and one of them's like rival one it's like yeah you super duper bitches <laughs> <laughs> that which was just tickled that was particularly funny it today. tickled me today I, mm. I haven't caught it before I think uh, I think I I think I gave it a little shout out on one of our watches we endeavoured Matt uh, maybe you have yeah <laughs> yeah, by episode 10, it's just going to be back to episode 1 again, isn't it? I love the clown college, man. It's so yeah. funny. They're in clown makeup having a serious conversation. <laughs> lo, 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 ruffle. We had a little task today, didn't we, to try and find out what, what Dustin's board is. And we paused and did little frame-by-frame frame shots and just can't figure it out. Yeah, and every time he's not shaking his board around like a madman, he's holding it like a... He's holding it the wrong way. He's holding Amateur. it away from the camera. Yeah. But really... if anyone know, anyone out there knows, it's the um, it's like a black background and like almost the outline of like it's like a cookie monster. Yeah, but just the outline. It's yeah, like a blue yeah, scrubbly yeah, yeah. line, almost like a ghost. What were you searching, Theo? I was searching like ghost skateboard graphic, ghost um, paranormal, paranormal that skateboard, was it. Yeah, uh, yeah. spirit skateboard deck, all this shit. Just trying to figure out what it is. It does kind of look like a birdhouse kind of style. Did you search? Did you extensively go yeah. through? I went through. I was just like, oh, I could be birdhouse, could be almost. I looked at a few of those. I... We'll get it one day, man. One uh, day. Episode 25, we'll be like 15 episodes talking about this damn deck. And we'll be like, right, guys, we finally got it. Finally got it. It's... Something, it's going to sound, I was just thinking about it a lot. Mm. But it's going to sound so foolish. 
once we've like I've made my point. You know, they, there's that one party scene. Yeah. That we've spoken about where they sneak into the club. Yeah, yeah. And then the rest of the film, even Sweet Lou, they don't drink or anything. Yeah, so Sweet Lou, if he graduated six years ago, he'd be 24. 24. So you'd expect him to just... Maybe he doesn't need he doesn't need alcohol to have a good time. No, no, he and we're not saying that. his tongue fondling a lady's tonsils. <laughs> and much, much more. Yeah. I don't know, just a couple of rad skater guys never getting on the sesh. Mm. Just a clean cut. They should be on the sesh, you know. Maybe but, maybe it speaks more to us than them. If I was in their situation, half the film would be us trying to get a couple of 40s. <laughs> yeah, I've got a suggestion. Sweet Lou. Why don't you drive us to the 40s, man? Yeah. <laughs> but I think, is it because but they're 15. 18 and it's a 12 and yeah, Warner Brothers yeah, 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 can't yeah, yeah, be yeah. condoning that shit? No references to Gange or anything. Was that big in the scene? I'm sure it was. That kind of thing's always been big in the scene, like the countercultural side of skateboarding. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. But again, it's a 12. I can see why. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, def- definitely no like, illegal drug references. But give Sweet Lou a bottle of beer. Yeah, yeah, they're all very straight edge, aren't they? I'll tell you what bothered me today in the watch was that how damn old they look. And I think that's why I was like, why aren't these guys ever like drinking or yeah. smoking or anything? And it's because they're 18, below drinking age, yeah, yeah. fresh out of school. But Matt looks about thirty. The yeah. others look easy. You can buy it. 20. You can buy it from Matt because he's so juvenile. But he's just he just and looks. And the others, old, I don't know. There's just certain shots of the others where you can just see the the five o'clock shadow and trying to hide it with the makeup and whatnot. One thing I picked up on today from a skateboarder's perspective was all of their t-shirts and clothes are like. Brand new. Pristine. And I, I know from my Shredded. decade plus of skateboarding that your clothes just get absolutely wrecked. And they're on tour yeah, across the country. Tour, and they've got no money. The amount of holes I had in my t-shirt, particularly from when you're... Well, they never carry their board like an actual skateboarder would. But when no. you're carrying it like across the deck, you always get little like grip, grip tape rubs on your t-shirt which like lead to holes. Matt's trousers are a bit like scuffed up at the bottom. That's just because he's a punk kid, man. Yeah, he's a gnarly bastard. They've all got, like, brand new, fresh threads, and... I didn't notice that, yeah. They're, like, yeah, they're yeah. Just meant to have... Eric can't even fucking drop. I was going to say, like, 70 bucks for a deck, but apparently it's 140 from Greg, not including tax. <laughs> tax not included. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, all their clothes are, like, pristine all the time, apart from Matt, that... Well, it's the same. No, his t-shirts are pristine. Yeah, like his yeah. trousers are a bit like carpet at the bottom, as I said. Which mm. seems like that was like a character choice. Did you notice that? I'm not sure if it's skateboarding reference or again because like style of the era. But one of Matt's laces is different. Do you think that's because he's been busting kickflips and ollies and and <laughs> because he's a skater? Or because I've, that was just stylish at the time. I hope that's a skateboard reference because the amount of times I've had to have different coloured laces in my shoes. Yeah, exactly. Because you just you're just trying to get any laces you can get hold of. But at the same, you go into a shop and you try and buy some laces and like ten pounds for a pair of Vans laces. Yeah. It's like are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm just going to rip some off like my hiking boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, because the film is what it is, it could just be that was. The fashion at the time, and Matt's a scraggly dude. And they? one thing I noticed is you always get like those. Your shoes are always trashed from skateboarding. And Matt is the only character I think who has consistent shoes throughout. Maybe Eric as well. Eric's always wearing those etnies. No, nah, yeah, no, they all do, man. Like Dustin's always uh, wearing those. Sweet always wearing like loafers. Okay, yeah, Dustin. Yeah, Sweet Lou can't skate in cowboy boots. <laughs> That'd be so <laughs> funny if the extra of the in the skate scene he was wearing like cowboy boots. There's some day. dude on um, Instagram I've seen a few times. I can't remember his name. Um, I might look it up. Probably not. Is it Joey Cutton? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's some guy from New York who's like shredding, but he's always skating in Timberlands. Damn. Yeah, it's like that must. You just made everything so much more difficult for yourself. Yeah, man. But you see him like tray flip down 10 sets in these Timberlands and hit handrails and stuff. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like yeah. with a little tag as well. Like he's fresh at the moment, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. Skateboarding in the day. Thugging it at night. But I noticed Matt's shoes. Like, on all, like, Vans. He's wearing a pair of uh, Vans old schools. Yeah. Or the, the high tops. Yeah, yeah, And, like, they've all got that little um, black band around the edge. Uh. And his are perfectly intact. Whereas any actual skateboarder, yeah. you'd have broken that line. Especially since they can't afford to fucking... Well, they spend all the money on clothes, clearly. That's why they can't afford <laughs> decks and shoes and petrol and food. 
Right, Theo, I want to test your... Um, you're good at this, man, from... Hmm. I don't know if you want to mention it on the podcast, but a cheeky bit of D&D, which you're down to play. Yeah, but so I you, mentioned it yesterday, I think. So I'm going to put you to the test, my friend. Yeah. Right. I want your... So <laughs> it's become a firm favourite bit of mine when Eric and Jamie are sitting on the bench talking after one of the skate jams and Dustin, Matt and Sweet Lou are walking over and it cuts to them and Dustin goes, you're sick, you're sick, that's sick. And he's <laughs> like in, he- in hysterics pointing at Sweet Lou. Right, bust it. What did Sweet Lou do? What did he do that he's sick? Why is that? What's that got to do with D&D? Oh, his storytelling ability. <laughs> On the spot, man. <laughs> Let me phone up Sam. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't DM'd a game in years. Freestyle it. What do you think Sweet Lou did? To get that sort of reaction. I reckon he had his first squirter. <clears throat> he's, he's pulling some girl, fingering her in the bushes, and it just came gushing out. And he, he got all over his jeans, he didn't even change him. <laughs> didn't even change him. Right. That's sick, oh, that's sick, you're sick. <laughs> the, I'll tell you what I think. Come on. <laughs> you know when they first arrive at that jam, mm. and he just, bam, straight in for the chick, right at the front of the rails, who's sucking the lollipop? Yeah, she looks like a squirt. <laughs> You're sick, man. <laughs> Forget sweet Lou, what's wrong with you? Right, so, so much. So much after eight days of grind. He goes so much. He gets with this girl. He yeah. goes, does his thing with her. I'm not gonna get too blue. Although I th- I feel that has already been breached. He slams her man behind a ramp or something, behind the vert, and then after their finish, she's like, Oh, so what's your number? Sweet Lou's like, Oh man, the phone's in the car. Let me just go get it. I'll be right back. Bails. And she's still fucking waiting there. He's walking over to Eric, telling Matt this story, and he's like, you're sick, man. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dick move. It, uh, I don't think it warrants that reaction, though. <laughs> you're sick! <laughs> Just give me a hat and sunglasses, and I'll go finish her off. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it wouldn't be a skateboarding manoeuvre, though, would it? It's a sweet Lou manoeuvre. I want to talk about the Instagrams there. So I've followed... <laughs> The cast, the director, and all the big name pros. I think I followed the one um, hot mama who is Eric's stepmom, who Shooter McGavin is getting off with by the pool. Hot mama is the girl that shuts him down at the first skate demo, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah. I think I might be following her as well. But anyway, I'm, I think I'm following um, Shooter McGavin's wife slash Eric's stepmom. I think I'm following her. <laughs> yeah, as you said, the directors, following the cast. As much as the cast. That I could find. There was a couple of them I found, and it was just be like, ah, oh, I'm not going to follow you. Rival this... one, yeah, man. That's all that. I was like, yes, big up. I reckon we could fucking maybe get something out of him. And Theo, do you want to know? I've got some exciting new news. Yeah. Do you want to know who's followed me back? Oh, go on. Fucking no one. Uh, <laughs> I'm. You counting... I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm counting on that they're just like not checking their Instagrams oh. regularly. We'll see. I mean, Bam's got two million followers. I he. Think. I followed him. He's not going to follow me. He's got too much shit on his plate, so check out some random sponsor me tape, you know. <laughs> well, we'll see, we'll see. He's, he's in quarantine, he might be like Daily Grind, sick. These guys. <laughs> that was my favourite awesome. project to be a part of. <laughs> forget Jackass, forget all the Element videos I've been in. <laughs> Grind, man, I want to hear more about that. So, Adam Brody has I Can't Find Instagram for him, so it's going to be tough getting him on the show to talk about his deck. That's um, a shame, that is a shame. Which kind not of that you'd, Not that you'd fucking know, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I wanted to talk a bit uh, about Tucson. I remember you, you've already mentioned it. With Matt Slime, that guy stacks it in the, uh, on the quad bike. Which is a brutal slam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy takes it well. Every time I see it, I can't help but like cringe a little bit. That looks like it hurt. Yeah. First point, I don't know what we've talked about yet, is when Eric's about to skitch on the back of the quad bike to get some speed up for that ramp. Uh, and you see him, like, kicking the star, kicking the star, and then you see his hand go over to the ignition to turn on the fucking quad bike. Yeah, it might be a Turn on star. the ignition, it's like... Jack, off. you ruined their chance with Jimmy Wilson, man. They're about to get sponsored. But I don't know, don't have that, like, in the cut. Just make it look like it wasn't starting, not like you're making it not start. Yeah, 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 yeah. The thing's, like, brand new, why isn't it starting? Well, he did just flip it, I suppose. And well, yeah, okay. He yeah, hasn't yeah. turned the fucking ignition. But also, my main point was... The amount of shit that Dustin has to deal with. Because they sneak onto Jimmy's bus. Matt has a nasty crap. 
Um, and Dusty's like, I may not have got a piece of Jimmy Wilson, man, but he got a piece of me. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's stuck in there with this nasty crap, presumably holding his breath. Bursts out, looks like he's about to be sick. Then, is it Preston Lacey? The guy from Jackass, the, the big guy? He yeah, busts yeah, through them, yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. Sorry guys, I've got a cold brown, I've got to wrestle down to the ground. <laughs> I think is what he says. <laughs> yeah, next episode we're, we're going to turn the subs on, because there's a few... There's a few lines that just don't catch. Like, inaudible, and it would be funny on the subtitles if it just had brackets, inaudible. <laughs> And then, he's got to clean up all that shit from the portaloo. Mm -hmm. Which is like, how do these portaloos get knocked 45 degrees? And then there's shit everywhere. And like, a toilet roll like jammed in the handle. And <laughs> I, I don't think that Eric caused most of that carnage. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's a disgusting scene. I think the security guard, it was one of his duties. And he was just looking at any, for any excuse not to do it. And he was like, perfect. <laughs> Can we talk about how great that security guard is as well? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we haven't spoken about him. So, so he just murks them off. Yeah, they, so they crash into the toilets, poop everywhere. And <laughs> the, the, the sorry, sorry. <laughs> they crash into the toilets, and there is poop everywhere. everywhere. They, they don't poop everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> crash into the toilets, they poop everywhere. And everyone shat themselves. <laughs> and this big, fat, intimidating-looking security guard comes over and goes, um, Oh, fuck. Uh, Dessa says, Oh, you didn't see it, man. No. But I sure did. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Yeah, no, but I sure did. <laughs> oh, fuck, I shouldn't be fucking... Like, you know, I could have you punks arrested. But for once, I'm going to have you skaters clean up your own damn mess. <laughs> and um, Dustin puts up his hand and he goes, uh, Excuse me, we're at a skate demo? <laughs> and, then, and then the security guard points to a sign which says, No skateboarding allowed. Oh, I fucked it up again. Right, I started again, because that was also out of sequence. That happens all before... All right, all right, you take it away. I can't remember what he says there. It's like, you guys can't skate here. Yeah, excuse me, sir, we're at a skate demo. And then Matt goes, <laughs> <laughs> He points at a sign it says, skateboarding prohibited. Like, violators will be prosecuted. <laughs> 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 Little punks. <laughs> For once, I'm going to have you skateboarders clean up your own mess. And that's when he opens the thing and there's poo everywhere. Which... Before I forget, that is my worst bit of the watch today. Just because I'm sick of seeing all that fucking shit everywhere. <laughs> oh dear. No, the, the clown college, as I said. What was the best bit then? Best bit for me was... I don't think I'm going to have a best bit anymore. There's oh, some banging lines. Something... Maybe... Oh, you're just super duper bitches. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that was your best bit today. My favourite bit is when <laughs> Dustin has a sandwich that he bought for lunch. Because he's responsible, he's got money that he's saved, he's about to eat. And then Matt steals it right out of his hand. Shoves it all in his mouth like a dick, because he doesn't even eat it. My favourite part within that bit is when Dustin gives him that little lecture. And then oh, I yeah. see you every time in the corner of my eye, saying word for word what Dustin says. See, I, I just try and mouth half the quotes now, because I can't not say them, but, but you, I don't want to say them out loud every time, because it's so annoying. You've it's got annoying that for bit. me, it's annoying for everyone involved. You've That's got it. that bit nailed, though, as well, which is great. <laughs> Man, you've got a lot of the script nailed bits that I haven't even got. Mm. I want to talk about Sweet Lou's van. Oh, yeah. So they soup it up. Wow. Well, they paint it, they stick. They make like a little rad ply box on top, a little grind box on the bonnet, which is pretty sweet. I don't know how Matt achieves that with just some spray paint cans, but it's, it's a cool little setup. He's an artist. But prior, <laughs> prior to putting some sick graphics on the side, it's like Sweet Lou's. Well, is it Sweet Lou's? It's like Lou's dog and cat grooming company yeah. with the cat crossed out. So is Sweet Lou, can we presume that he is a professional groomer of dogs? Formerly cats, but not anymore. I guess so, but you'd think his man would cross out the docks so he's just a cat groomer, because he's always <laughs> grooming that pussy. Exactly, well, if the writers had any sense, that's what, that's what it would be. But, so can we, do you think Sweet Lou was a dog groomer? Doesn't seem like Sweet Lou, does it? That's the only th inkling we have of what he does for a living. Yeah, apart from hang out at the skate park all day. Yeah, he's 23, 24. Unless he's like a gigolo, you can just charge for his services. <laughs> he's so sweet that he doesn't even need to like give him an invoice, they just pay him. <laughs> an invoice? Yeah, all those famous gigolo invoices that they hand out. <laughs> so that's 2003. I've got a little fun fact for you about this movie. 
so you know it's set in Chicago. They start in Chicago. They start, yeah. they start in Chicago. That bit where Eric's skating through the streets. Yeah. That's not Chicago. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I made that up. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's bullshit. I just thought that'd be funny. <laughs> what, what was your end game there? <laughs> to make you look like a fool. <laughs> Tomorrow, Theo, we're doing our little quiz. I'm, I'm, I'm scared I'm not going to get any of the questions right <laughs> because they're going to be so obscure and they're going to be like, these fuckers aren't even watching Grind every day, are they? <laughs> we definitely are. <laughs> if there's one thing that you need to take away from this is that we definitely are watching Grind every single bloody day. <laughs> yeah, shit. But yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting mix because any, any standard Grind quiz... First of all, we should see if there are any grand quizzes online. <laughs> there definitely won't be. It's Harry Potter quizzes. Yeah. Is grind not as successful as Harry Potter? Oh, damn. Oh, okay, yeah, fine. It's not the same yeah. cult following? It's not just us <laughs> watching it? <laughs> oh, we'll do um, reviews. I think we should do that for our 10th special as well. Flip You've through. got an awful lot planned for this 10th episode <laughs> special. We'll see what happens. <laughs> see what happens. I don't know, I would just like to read through the reviews, see what the pros have to Oh, say. yeah, I definitely... I, th I Shank think shit, most of them, I bet, but... We should... Pull from the, like the best quotes from some of the reviews. Yeah, um, yeah. By best, I mean like either glowing reviews that agree with us, or hilarious takedowns, or just the the funniest ones we can find. <laughs> yeah. Cut. Man, when we have the mic, I'm gonna be emceeing like motherfucker. You see the mic. It's like a proper little. It's got. It's not like a mic that you. It's not a classic like music. Oh. Mic. I had visions of fucking me starting my rap career, man. What the fuck? <laughs>